Once again, took nothing out for dinner. No idea what I want to eat. But what I have is some slightly questionable, uh, well, one that was fine and one questionable zucchini, which I've since shredded. And I had some Gruyere cheese, also now shredded. Love that food processor. Um, I've had this recipe for a summer squash uh, pizza or flatbread for a really long time and have never made it. Of course, I cannot follow the actual instructions because that's very like simple. And really, I would just mix that with a little bit of salt and maybe some red pepper and then put it on top. Um, but I also have some mushrooms, which I've sauteed. And I went to my garden and pulled up some fresh. That might be a lot, um, but it's fresh and so it doesn't necessarily go as far. So I'm gonna mix that in after I strain um, all the extra water out of the zucchini. The crust is looking a little more questionable type. I'm supposed to let it sit up for two hours. It's late, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna give it another 35 minutes and then it might just be thin and not as um, doughy <laughs> as it might need to be normally. So um, once I assemble, I'll let you see what that looks like and then we'll see how the finished product turns out. So I've been, I salted my <laughs> zucchini and um, so now we're gonna strain the water out. I already strained a big portion, but lots of water. Ignore my dirty dishes. So, I do the same thing with potatoes sometimes. Um, in this case, you want it as dry as possible so that it doesn't make the crust soggy. So I'm gonna finish seeing how much of this I can get out, and then, and then I'll put everything together. All right, so the directions say, as you can see, my <laughs> dry as it's gonna get. Um, zucchini, this is Gruyere which I think is an interesting choice. And I just happen to have rare <laughs> on hand. So I'm gonna mix that in. Um, I'm of course gonna add some things that did not call for, one of which is some fresh thyme out of my garden. And in a second, I'm also, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. And then after that, I'm gonna add in um, the sauteed mushrooms. Again, that was not called for in this recipe in any way, shape or form. Um, I tried to still keep, other, I added the thyme. Oh, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of red pepper flakes, um, just for a little counter. So we'll see. Um, I think I'm gonna have to break this up with my hands a little bit in a minute. <coughs> so uh, don't worry, I just coughed into my shoulder. Um, I'm gonna mix this up, I'm gonna roll out the dough and I'm waiting for the oven to finish um, preheating to 500. Um, and we're gonna hope that it will maintain its heat um, long enough to cook this before it shorts out, which is what it normally does when I get anywhere to around 450. My, my oven's not a fan and uh, basically tells me this is Texas and it's too hot for all that. So I'm gonna do that, roll it out, then I'll show you a photo. I know I keep saying that, but then I'll show you a um, video and then we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. We're gonna lay this out and see what happens. I also had some little tomatoes that weren't enough for me to do anything with. So I'm going to, I cut them up and I'm gonna throw them on top and we will see what happens there. I got this pretty dry. I'm kind of impressed with myself. And the dough weighs pretty well, so I'm gonna finish this up, and then in the oven it goes. Voila! As I suspected, by not letting it rise properly, it's thinner um, than I would generally like it, but um, it smells really good, so I'm about to cut it and taste. I can definitely smell the thyme. So let's see. My um, cheese to zucchini ratio might have been a little off, but it's 
It's a little sweet, which I'm not sure where that's from. That's the Gruyere. Um, but good. I kind of want... The balance is a little off for me because it tastes sweet. Which makes me want a little more umami for balance. And I thought the heat might do. Like, you, I would think the heat would do it since I didn't even cough any pepper. But it's actually tasty. I wasn't sure that the zucchini would be cooked all the way. Um, but it, it was. The cheeses got like a little crisp on the edges. And even though the crust didn't puff up quite the way I like it, it's not like completely flat. It's not like a cracker. So it does have a little go. Yeah, it's good. I think I'll play around a little bit to figure out why it has a little on the sweet side. It's not cloying or anything. It's just um, not quite the balance I want, but generally tasty. This is delightful. Hope you're having something delightful too. Okay, <clears throat> over time, like I'm really enjoying this a lot. And I think like the sweetness kind of ebbed, so I'm not quite sure what that was about. But I think if I did, I did a recipe a while back that was like leek, like a leek flatbread on a puff pastry. And you did um, some some um, mustard, like a thin, thin, like little tiny bit of mustard. And I wonder if like just a hint of mustard like in here might be what I'm looking for. So next time I try, that's what I'm going to do.